I joined the Navy post 9-11 to serve my country. I was actually sent to New Orleans on a humanitarian mission after Katrina hit. And uh, during that time frame, I actually met my wife. Uh, we currently have three beautiful children. And, you know, number one job of the day is to get back home to my family. All right, so we just ran the tag on this vehicle and it's coming back expired. Also looks like the uh, driver's not wearing a seatbelt. So we're gonna go ahead and line them up and uh, see what we got. 159. Hey buddy, how you doing? Listen, I'm, I'm Deputy Ramirez of the San Rosa County Sheriff's Office. How are you today? Fine. All right. Hey, listen, the reason I'm pulling the vehicle over is because I ran your tag and you got an expired tag. I know that. I got... And also you're not wearing a seatbelt. So is there any firearms or anything illegal in the vehicles that can get you in trouble? Uh, okay. Uh, can I see your driver's license? Yeah. All right. Ma'am, can I see yours, please? Everything okay? You seem kind of nervous, ma'am. No, actually, I'm gonna run somebody down and find my vehicle right now. Can I get you to step out of the vehicle real quick, please? Yeah. Do you have any weapons on you that's gonna get you in trouble? Do you, mind if, knife. do you mind if you come back here? Where's your pocket knife at? Just don't reach for it. Hey, I just right. Do you mind if I search real fast for the weapons? I right, appreciate it. Go ahead and spread your feet for me. Step out of the vehicle real quick, please. So basically, at this point where we're at, is you can't be operating a vehicle on the roadway in the state of Florida without a valid registration. Do you mind right. opening your mouth, lifting up your tongue for me? All right. Hey, um, do you mind if uh, I get you back here, if you don't mind? I really appreciate that, Bubba. Just behind the car. Just make sure you don't run from us. All right. So, Amanda, as long as you're honest with me, I can work with you, OK? Now, listen, is there anything in that vehicle that's going to get you in trouble? Not that it's mine, but I've, I've seen stuff on the center console, actually, right when y'all pulled us over. What was it? And there's a, he had a pipe that he kind of tried to poke under a can. OK. And there's a black eyeglass case he was trying to sit under the center console somewhere. Black ice? Like an eyeglass. Eyeglass case? case? Kind of Did you see the, anything that was in that eyeglass case? No, it was closed. I appreciate that. I was looking you up. Did you have a, maybe a, a narcotic arrest or were you associated with a traffic stop? Yeah, it was job. Yes, sir. Where was that at? I'm on the highway. All right, well, I'm going to continue searching, okay? There we go. That's why he was so nervous, man. More than likely, um, what I had done is I went ahead and contacted a female officer for a female search. So at this point, we're good all day long for a search. Right there on the console. Was it? Okay. Fantastic. I'll search over here. She just mentioned seeing an eyeglass case that might be suspicious in nature, which there's a meth pipe in there. Yes. And we got ice right there, visible. This was in her possession, basically. Plus you have a pink bandana. Yep. Oh. There you go. All right, so this one. Oh, that's a good bag of ice right there, guys. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yep. Do me a favor. Keep that over there, man. Okay, Amanda, we did find drug and drug paraphernalia on both sides of the vehicle. I found a pink bandana inside of a glass case. Oh, yeah, I know, no. He Who got wears the, pink? He got the bandana Typically. from me. I have, like, 13 of them in my drawer. Oh, you gave him the bandana? Yeah, he probably has a pink one. If you dig a little the toolbox, there's probably several more. Okay, because I'm interested in that bandana, because, I mean, you're the only female in the car, and he doesn't look like the type to be wearing any a pink bandana. Any kind of bandana, bandana. any kind of westerny, it's got an opal stuff, a topaz, he likes it. Oh yeah. So where did you get ban where did you get the bandana? At? You got it from me, but it's been that truck forever. How long ago? Gosh, months ago. All right. All right. Cool. Well, I'm gonna go ask him some questions. All right. Hang tight right there. All right. Randy, what's going on with that? There's what? The pot? Is there a pot in there? Why no, I said the pipe. Yeah. There's a pipe. Right. Yeah. Whose pipe is it? It's mine. Yeah. Which pipe? Because we found two pipes. I don't know nothing about another pot. Okay. We found methamphetamine inside of a plastic baggie on the side of a uh, driver's seat and center console. To which you had access to it. I had to lift up on your, your center console. And it's a good amount of meth, man. Do you own a pink bandana? 138, I'm 55. You don't? She said she bought you a pink bandana, dude. Never? What would I do with a pink bandana? Oh, that's what I asked her, but I just wanted to ask oh, you if you owned a pink bandana. I mean, it's not, you know, weird or anything. It's just you never know. You may have been to pink. Yeah, I don't know. My bandana was, you got mine out of my pocket. All right, well, let me go talk to her again. Amanda, what's wrong? Because I can't believe he's going to stand there and lie to y'all guys. All right, can you do me a favor? Can you stand up for me? Can you go ahead and turn around for me? Okay. Go ahead and put your hands behind your back. Thank Randy, you. are you really not going to tell him the truth? Just relax. Really, Randy? I gave you both ample time to be honest with me, okay? Be honest with him, Randy. Okay, Amanda. Are you seriously just going to let me go down for your Look at me. I'm sorry, I'm I know, I, I know that everybody always does, but look, 
If you go into that facility with any drugs that it's hidden in you, that is a third degree felony for introduction to contraband into a facility. I have nothing. Detention facility. Nothing. You 100% sure? 200% I have nothing. Okay. Well, I hope you are, okay? I have well, come on, let's go. Please tell the truth. Well, here's the problem. I gave you both ample opportunity. Ample opportunity, wouldn't you say? Would you say I was fair? I've been 100% honest with you. Okay. I told you as soon as I seen it in the car, well, that's when I seen it. Unfortunately, no one ever wants to take the rap. It's very, you know, un you know, it, it's very uncommon that anybody does. All right. So go ahead and have a seat, and that's why I give everybody the opportunity to be honest with me. Oh, my God. Well, look, at the end of the day, it was on your side and his side, okay? I just got the truck, and it's probably all I'm in I'm sorry, ma'am. Can you watch your foot? I don't want to smash it, all right? Good luck to you, okay, Amanda? Yes, sir. All right, and Randy, I'm going to put you in this car right here, okay? Once you go to that jail, I can't help you out anymore. Is there anything else on you that's going to get you in trouble? You got all right. nothing on All right, go ahead and have a seat, man. I'm going to explain something to you. I don't want all the eaters hearing out here, okay? Listen, man, unfortunately for you and her, there was methamphetamine and a meth pipe located on both of the sides of the vehicle, okay? On the passenger and driver's side, which you both had possession of, okay? I thought to what I had was the pipe. I understand that, man. I, I really do, but I got to go with what I got. All right, man, I wish the best for you, okay? Thank you. All right, no problem, man. Have a good day. We grew up in this side of town, you know, moved to the States around when I was 13. So it's really a place I invest in. I go to church here, I coach youth leagues, basketball in my off times, involved in the youth groups. You know, I deal with the same people that I've dealt with, like growing up around. So it's, um, it's a very rewarding feeling that I'm giving back to the community in a hands-on type of way. My partner just check out with a bicycle, probably has no light. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and back him up and see what's going on with that. Oh, you feel less that. Oh, he just threw it. Can't believe you just did that to me. Make me go down there and do that. You got anything else in your pockets? But what, what did you throw? It's a weed pipe. You threw a weed pipe? Yes, a sock. You understand when you toss a misdemeanor, it now becomes a misdemeanor and a felony, right? But I don't have anything on me. You don't. Well, you just admitted to it, and you just yeah, admitted man. to the destruction of it. So that's a son of a gun. Where you headed? Go and see a friend, girl. You know? For a guy who was smoking weed, you don't smell like weed. You can smell it on my hands. You don't smell like marijuana, bro. I smell like alcohol. <laughs> I've been drinking uh, Moscato. You smoke crack? Every now and then, and weed. Did you smoke some crack tonight? No, weed. But you said you smoke crack and weed together. I roll it in, in, and puts it in a guard, and I smoke it off of the So the technically, you smoke crack tonight? Yes, sir. OK. Would it be fair if I said there would be some crack in our weed as well, you do? It's a little roach of the weed. With the crack? With the, yeah, inside the. How much so, crack did you throw, man? No crack. No crack, period. You told me those crack with the weed. No, it, well. So I'm making that up, what you just told me. No, you ain't making it. It's no, you know, it was a little dust of, you know, mixed in the weed. Uh, okay. Well, okay. which is crack? Right? Cocaine is cocaine. Cocaine, my man. Right. Cocaine is cocaine. That's it. So where do you get it from? Off the street, off of Palm Beach. Off of Palm Beach. Palm Beach is an awfully big road. You're not helping me much. I got it from a friend, you know, they call him K. You know, it was it was weed. He, you know, he rolled up in the weed and I just got it. What's your name? Ronnie. Where you live at? Off of Apollo 14. You got his dude ID? Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. One second. Bring up my idea. That's all it was, some little personal weed. I understand that. that. I put, you know, and like I said, it, but it's disrespectful for you to just chunk that on me. Yeah, you, know, you know what I mean? I understand so. If you just had I, a little I, weed on you? You know, I don't have any weed. Listen, you know. I understand that, but it ain't it ain't even a big deal. I don't really care too much about the weed. If yeah. I wanted to get some cocaine, where would it come from? Don't tell yeah. me the street, don't tell me the yeah. motel. Tell me somebody I can go get cocaine from. Hey, Lily Ann just called you while we were talking. Who? Lily Ann popped up on your screen there. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's where I was at. She's the one that owns the place, the park. The girl I'm going to see her name is Renee. I thought her name was Renee. 
That's what I just said. You said, but Lily Ann just called Lily you. Lily Ann owns the apartment where Renee, you know, they're But apartment. why is Lily Ann calling you? If Renee, you're going to see. She don't have a phone, so. Here's the thing, man. If Lily Ann wanted to buy the 20, who, yeah, would, yeah. who would she call? She ain't calling me. I don't know who she was to call. Are you yeah. bringing her a 20 because she just... I'm not bringing her anything. Can we confirm that's not the case? That's not the case. You want me to confirm that? Yeah, you can confirm that's okay. not the case. Yeah. He wants me to check his phone. All right, let's see. At 2, at 118, can you hook me up with a little piece? You know anybody who got coke? You got a 20? Yes. OK, I'm home. Stuff is good, but kind of small. Would you say that's... What you were bringing to her? To who? No, I wasn't bringing anything. You know, they're my old. Sections are at 259. Yes, but I didn't bring it. 259 is two, it's 302. 302? Mm -hmm. You're about to make me crawl in a ditch. Well, I mean, sir, I guarantee you, you won't find any crack cocaine on this. It's, it's, it's a lot of stuff that's in, you know, it, it, it's in that their phone. I'm okay with you lying to me, man, but not with this not, guy. I, I'm not lying to you. Lying sir. to this guy is just, it's, it's a sin. Well, you know, that's it, a, it's a bigger sin, to be honest, if you lie to this guy. Because that's just, this guy's no, just sir. a straightforward cat. Yes, sir. I he, guarantee you. know, he, he keeps second chances and stuff, but you just had to lie to this guy, man. Yeah, that's, just, that's just wrong. You know, I'm not lying. All right, I'm gonna go down there and check for myself. If you throw a small baggie, it will not go too far. There's nothing in the baggie. No baggie, period. It's a medium toss. Somewhere in there, probably. Yeah, I didn't see a big toss or nothing. This it runs to the main, you know, to the old kitchen, to Clusy action. Are you trying to tell me I'm gonna get bit by a gator? No, I ain't telling you that. That old cracker gator down there. No, I didn't do it. So that gator gonna be all cracked out. Not in too much luck, D. Not seeing it right there in that general vicinity, huh? No, this guy's one lucky dude. <sighs> okay, find it. Um, you grab your stuff off my hood. Yep. Man, you got one lucky night, bro. I know it is on your side, bro. Give you that much. All right, man, you know the deal, all right? All right. You got a big break. I do, like I said again, very offensive, man, lying to my man like that. Oh, but I'm telling you, catch you doing that again, won't be another good night, all right? Get your life fixed. Have a good night, sir. All right. I came from a law enforcement background. My father was a police officer in Orange County, and a lot of my family members, about 10 of them or so, are all law enforcement officers in Southern California. So that's what got me into it. It's kind of, we, we joke, it's the uh, family business. Uh, we got a gentleman here acting erratic in the middle of the road. Looks like some sort of disturbance with a blue Ford Explorer. You all right, man? Watch out, hold on. Are you okay? Are you, oh, what, what is going on? Go okay, let's go. Paris 500. Be on a, some sort of 415 at Bradley and Lazy Creek. No reason to stop me, bro. You just said let's go talk over here. Yeah, I said let's go talk over here because you want to talk to me. Correct. What do you want to talk about? Well, first of all, I saw some issues with this guy in this car here, and then you're walking that's down the street. That's my wife. I, do I know that? My crystal, my crystal ball is not in my car, dude. Well, that's my wife. I just let you know that. That's fine, and that's OK. Dude, I'm, I'm not. As, right as you, and so that's I, OK. I advise everybody to leave me the alone. Please. Well, I'm going to do my job and make sure you're OK. I just told you I'm OK. OK. You're also not leaving me alone. Well, that's fine. I'm gonna go talk to your wife now. Leave me the f alone. You bro. can walk away. I'm getting in the car with my wife. I'm gonna bro. go talk to your leave wife. Leave me the f alone. You can walk away. Leave me alone. I'm leaving you alone. Leave you can me. go walk leave. away. Don't touch Just me. Walk away. Don't, don't, back touch up. Me, bro. Back up. Back up. don't touch me, bro. Don't touch me, dude. Don't touch me. You're gonna start don't a start. problem. Don't, don't touch me. Don't start. Don't touch me. You have no. You have no reason to touch me. Quiet down. I don't have to quiet. You are gonna start a problem. Get in the car. Get in the Stupid car. Bye-bye. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. The reason I stopped was because I saw, obviously, a disturb some yeah. sort of disturbance on the corner here. I didn't know what the heck was going on. Yeah, okay. What do you guys, you guys have local? No, we we're actually going back, but... Babe, you don't have to talk to us. You ain't on probation or parole. Come on. Go. Are you? She okay, ain't. if you are, then we're going to have a problem. If you want to continue. Just be quiet. Are you on probation? If you're lying, you're going to go to jail. 
You have one chance. You have one chance to you tell me the truth. Probation. Okay, what are you on probation for? No, stay right there. What are you on probation for? I'm on probation for domestic violence and assault with a deadly weapon. Okay. Leave me alone. No, I cannot because you're on probation. I need to Same talk time. to you one on one. Talk to, no, you talk to who? Stop. Michael. Stop. Ay, ay, ay. Oh my God. Get your bipolar ass in the car. Well, okay, what's up? Okay, have a seat. Have a seat. Man. Have a seat. She's pissing me off. She's making me even more what, mad. What is, what is she making you mad about? Because she keeps telling me it kind of hurts. She keeps yelling at me. Are you, is this your wife? Yes, I have been? problems okay. already. You guys have kids? Yeah. Right. How old? I'm sorry for coming it, at you like that. It's okay, I, man. I'm just so and, mad right now. And I'm you know what? Hey, I've been, <gasps> hey, hey, listen, don't don't break your hand. My, Michael, Michael, I've been there, dude. I think we all have. Okay, we've all been there. I have to take my ear out on everybody else because I already have a domestic violence case. Understood. I can't well, touch her at all. You know what the cool thing is? Is you don't have to touch anyone, okay? Yes, I apologize. Michael, I'd even, I didn't. But I don't care if I go to jail right now. I don't now want you to. Do you want to go to jail? I don't care. But, I don't care. Come on, yeah, you do. I've been to prison or I've been to jail. That's, a, that's, nothing, that's nothing to be proud of, I don't though. Care. You don't... I'm not proud of it, but I'm used to it. Well, that's don't, what I'm why, used to. why are you making that your normal, man? Don't, don't make that a normal thing, dude. What are you mad about with your wife? She's telling me she's gonna leave me. So it's like, okay, you wanna leave me? You're not gonna leave me. So I'm gonna act out. Have you been drinking today? Yeah, I've been drinking, but I can handle my liquor. Right. Do you think maybe alcohol's intensified this, this reaction? No, probably, yeah. Probably? Yeah. Trust me, man, you think you're the only one that's been there. We, I think we've all been there a time or two. I'm trying, I, I'm trying. I try to stay quiet and just... You got any hobbies? Yeah, writing BMX. Do you? Yeah. That's cool, man. Yeah. Maybe, you know, when you get angry, you should go on a ride. I just need to get a tire and an inner tube now. Yeah. I got you, man. Where's your, where's your guys' kid? Uh, or, he's, her, her, her kid's in the car. The kid's in the car? Yeah, he's in the car. Yeah, he's sleeping. Uh, Is he? Oh, I totally missed him. Hang tight right here. He's never put his hands on me at all. He's getting on hype because you guys are here and you guys are irritating him. I'm trying not I'm, to. That's just your presence of being a police officer. Uh, I get it, but my concern is if I leave mm -hmm. and I let him go with you, is this going to be the result? No, he's usually calm, but right now he got out the car so he can calm down and he's walking down the street. I understand but I'm that. I'm like, well, how would you get out the car? But now you think that? about me taking him in custody for four to six hours, no charges, just for intoxication purposes only. If you guys do that, then he's gonna get mad at me. Like it's I not did your it, fault. I don't have time for that right now. I don't have time at all. What? Stop talking and asking if they're gonna take me to jail. Michael, 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 here, here, come here. I got, come, turn around for me. I'm Look. just gonna put you in handcuffs for a minute. You're gonna okay, happen. Yeah. So here's what's gonna happen, okay? You're gonna go into custody for four to six hours for public intoxication, okay? Listen, I'm not gonna file charges against you. I'm not gonna violate your probation. I'm, I'm gonna be good. Okay. I'm just gonna go home. Yeah, but it's a little late for that, okay? Four to six hours, no charges, no, and you go. get released. No charges, There's and no you get released. Ask her, ask her, bro. Brother, brother, please, Michael, please. Michael, 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 come on. You seem like a nice guy, man. I just uh, really hope whatever. I'm just, I'm just, I just get, when I'm, I'm I, I get really mad when I'm mad. You gotta find some healthy ways to uh, distribute that anger, man. Right. If two of you have your BMX bike, I'd send you on a little ride. <laughs> All right, man. You wanna buy me a new tire and, and energy? I would, bro, if it calmed you down. Hell yeah, I would. Yeah, I will. I absolutely will. Well, you don't got your bike, though. Just give my wife the money, shit. Wow, you? man. <laughs> Doesn't help me now, though. All right, bro. Four to six hours, you'll be out, can, no can charges. My wife come talk to me real quick? Yeah, that's fine. Thank you, I appreciate no, it. No worries, bro. <laughs> You're gonna miss out. Go You're gonna miss out. What? Can he talk to Yes, you? he can. Go. Oh. Yeah. You oh. pick. You pick. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Take it. It's all yours. <laughs> can you roll down the window for him? Are you gonna come get me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you better come get me. Oh yeah. my God. No? I don't want to. Okay. All right. I keep that. You're going to get you. <laughs> you know, I'm going to get you. Shut up. You roll it up. Why is he taking himself because, to jail? Because he's drunk. If you ever have any issues, there's a lot of resources out there, especially in this day and age for any sort of domestic issues. Yeah. Uh, I gave you my information. Give me a call if you have any issues. I know I'm a county away, but if there's something I can help you with or any questions I can answer, I'll be happy to. Okay. Okay? All right. Thank hey, you. See you, bud. My wife's a dispatcher for the department as well. It's difficult because we deal with the same things. I see them on the streets, she deals with them over the phone, but it's also rewarding because we both know the ins and outs of the job and also how to deal with the stresses of the job. And we lean on each other uh, when we need to, uh, to cope with uh, various things that we both experience in our, in our capacities. There's a car parked off to the side of the road on a side street. Didn't have a tag light on it, so we're gonna go see what's going on with it.
You all right? Open my burrito. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just saw you back here. I want to make sure you're good. Yeah, no, I opened my burrito. Where do you live? Right over here. Right on here. what street is this? Uh, I don't know the name of this. Street. Okay, which one do you live on? I live at the very end of the street, right? Like right with Bobby Chambers. Do you know what street it is? What street I, you live I, on? I don't know the name. No worries. Holly, man. Huh? Holly. I'm 57. You watch Tiger King? No. Oh, you look like the guy from Tiger <laughs> no. King. You look like Joe Exotic. No, no. All right. How old are you, man? I'm 57. 57? Yeah. How much weed is that in there? That's a bunch of shake. Shake? What are you yeah. going to do with it? Uh, well, you're going to make edibles. Edibles? Yeah. Nice, man. What yeah. kind of edibles? Just whatever, you know, like no worries. stuff like that. Pro probation? Yeah, I'm on probation. For what? I'm not probation, but for him. No worries. I, uh, just, my ID? Yeah, just so we're clear, I see the knife right there. Just don't yeah, reach yeah, for yeah, it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no yeah. weapons in the car right other than yeah. the knife I see? Just that knife, yeah. Okay. So, no guns or anything? No guns. Awesome, brother. That's what I was in uh, prison for. So. Oh, okay. Come on out real quick. Okay. Just, so we're, just so, we're, so we're away from the knife. You got it, buddy. Appreciate it, man. You might be some like grandmaster with that knife, you know? No, no, I'm not. Uh, just leave it there. Yeah, that's perfect. You know, no other weapons on you, right? No. Nope. All right, just patch it real quick. Turn around. Face me. Face oh, me. Yeah. Face me. Yeah. Cool. And just post up on your bumper right here. Yes, yeah, for guns. I don't got any guns, but there's a machete in the back seat. That's fine. I mean, hey, uh, because you're probation, I'll just make sure you don't have anything else illegal in the car, okay? Yeah. I know you got the big the bag of shake. Yeah, the machete, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not illegal in and of itself, but I, I know you have the big bag of shake in there. Anything else, though? That's it. Okay. Uh, I, I, I got some buds, you know. Okay, how much? How many buds? Just a, a bag of buds. Yeah. Okay, so you have a bag of buds and shake? Yeah, yeah, good shake, yeah. It's, it's all ready. Do you work You work at a grow or? You'd... No, 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 no. Okay. No, I got through some mixes. Okay. Yeah. All right, come on back over here. I'm going to put you in my car real quick. You got it. You've been through this before, haven't you? Yeah, I've been in prison. Okay, have a seat. So do me a favor. Don't touch anything. It's not locked though. I keep my hands in with yeah. that. Code 4, I have one detained on a vehicle search. So we have Shake here. Uh, this is the byproduct of marijuana clippings. So they uh, cut the buds off to smoke, and these, this is what's left over. This can be used to make what's called honey oil, but uh, this can be used to create other marijuana products. Machete he was talking about he had. Yeah. Machete's legal to have so long as that he's not brandishing it in any way, shape, or form. This is definitely smell of marijuana based on my training and experience. Okay, so we have, looks like some, okay, this is budded marijuana. This is marijuana that's uh, ready to be smoked. It just needs to be cut from the uh, actual stems itself. Uh, this, this amount is illegal to possess. A couple pounds there. Here's some more. Budded marijuana. Has yet to be cut from the, uh, the stems, but it is budded. All right, I'm gonna go talk to him real quick about all this. What was your name again? Timothy. Timothy, all right. So, I know you told me about the shake. Yeah, the shake, this is all part of it. That's the shake from Trinity. From trimming. Yeah. So what do you do with the shake? We make cookies and, and, and stuff like that, and pies and, and... So edibles. Edibles. Yeah. What do you do with all the process? With, with the bud that's done, I eat, we smoke it. Okay. It's illegal to carry anything more than an ounce of marijuana. Oh, I didn't know that. I, th I thought you could, you could have it. Now it's... a plant, you know? Well, it's legal to smoke in, in California, yeah, being over 21, yeah. and you're obviously over 21, right? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. But you can, only, you can only transport up to an ounce. I didn't know that. How much do you think is here? Um, once it's all dried out and stuff, uh, half pound? Half pound? I think it's more than half pound. I, I wouldn't know. I, I, you know. Oh, yeah, I would say you probably have a, probably two, three pounds yeah. there. Yeah, it's all stems and, and leaves. Yeah, but you got some bud in there, no, so. I understand what you said, yeah. Yeah, no, I understand you haven't processed yeah. it completely yet. How long have you been smoking weed? All my life. Since you, out of the womb, you came out with a joint? Well, not since, you know, about 12, 13. 12 or 13? Where'd you grow up? Here, here. In Hemet? And my grandfather was a deputy sheriff in Hemet for 25 years. No, he was not. Yes, he was. What was his name? Uh, Cross Sea House. Really? Yeah, was... How you, did you ever apply? No. How come? Yeah. Well, you know. We could have been out here patrolling the streets together, man. We might have been fun too. That would have been awesome. You know you know what your way around here better than I do. Yeah, I know. These streets are dark and scary at night. Yeah. It's not too scary, but they're dark. Yeah. <laughs> do these people know you around here? Everybody. Yeah? yeah? You don't have like a cool nickname? No, no. No? No, no I'm not that cool. <laughs> yeah, you are. Has, any, has anyone told you you look like Joe Exotic? No. No? No, they told me, sure, I look like a lot of things, but don't, not Joe Exotic. From Tiger King? Yeah. Okay. All right, man. So here's what we're going to do. You've been super cool. I'm going to give you a ticket. It's a misdemeanor, okay, for the possession of over one ounce of, of marijuana. Okay. Uh, I'm going to let you bounce today, let you slide today. 
Because you don't look like you've been smoking quite yet. No. Okay. You were just eating your burrito, kind of catching yeah, up, right? Yeah, I was trying to get, it blew up on me. It's like, it was getting on my seats. Like, no worries. Right what made you park right here? Well, because the burrito blew up. So I stopped right here real quick. Okay. Any tattoos on you? All of them. Let's check you out, man. All of them. What you got? Oh, uh, look, you've got a tiger on you. <laughs> Dude, you were born to be the Tiger King. It's, it's lion, but yeah, they say it. Is it? Let me see. It's supposed to be a lion because I'm a Leo. Yeah. I don't know, man. That, that looks like a tiger I to know, me. I know, that's what they all say. Hey, you, you got to tell everybody you're Joe Exotic. Okay, I'm going to go for that one. You got see, to, see man. See if it works. Everybody knows about it. Yeah. That is so funny. Yeah. <laughs> the irony of it, huh? Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, brother. You're out of here. All right, thank you. See guys. you later, man. All right, you guys have a good night. All right, you too. We're going to put the uh, bags of marijuana in the back. We're going to keep a small sample for uh, court purposes, evidentiary purposes, and the rest will be destroyed. Like any other jobs, everybody has a bad day at work. The only difference is in this job, we see some things that most people go a whole lifetime without seeing. But overall, the good parts of the job outweigh the bad. You know, we get to meet a lot of interesting people and basically get paid to solve, solve puzzles and help people with their problems. I love this job. Uh, right now, we're responding to an alleged burglary in progress uh, of a residence. Possibly uh, people who do lawn cares at the residence, seeing people they don't recognize inside. 69327. So, how about how old does this guy look? The, the, He's 23. You know who it is? Because he told me. No. My daughter met him through Facebook. Okay. Where she exactly did you see him? Was he came. at the house or? He was staying in that boat when I saw him and I told him he couldn't be here that, it, you know, because I've had a lot of trouble with my kids. Okay. And they know this and like I'm on the verge of kicking them. Mm -hmm. And I told him that he couldn't be here, that he needed to go. Okay. But then we seen him dart through the other side of there and we went to the bedroom and that's when we saw him walking down the road and looking back and he went in the woods over there. Which woods? Right on the other side right of this road right here? Right on the other right side here? of my house. Okay. And it was a red shirt, blue jeans, yeah. it looked like? Yeah. He had a red Nike book bag. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. There's a red uh, red shirt down there. Sixty one I three Marion. It'll be ten twelve white male, no t-shirt, blue jeans, with a red Nike backpack, matching description. The subject. What's that? You looking for him? Yeah, what's going on, man? I see my shower. Oh, okay. there. They're okay. walking since Orlando. Since Orlando? Yeah. That's a long way. Yeah. Where, you, I mean, do you live up here, or do you, who do you know that's in the area? I don't know anybody in the area. Since you have another unit. 51. I know my girlfriend lives around here. I don't know where at. OK. Where are you coming from right now that you got to this house? The Dollar General. Do you have any weapons in the bag? I just have my inheritance from my grandma that passed away. She left me a bunch of quarters. A bunch of quarters? Yeah, okay. and it's, I don't know how many Ooh, quarters. What's your name? My name's Kenny. Kenny? Okay. All right, Kenny, just put the backpack down for a minute. All right. The only knife I have is right here. All right, leave it right there. Don't reach for it. Turn around. You're not under arrest, okay, but... Obviously, right now, I am. No, you're just being detained Since for my safety. Handcuffs, huh? Well, I'm out here by myself, so... Do you know anybody down here in Ocala? No. I know my my girlfriend lives here Take a couple here steps back for me. You can lean up against this. So why are you in this neighborhood? Are you on My girlfriend somewhere? told me to meet her at Dollar General. I called her from Dollar General, and she told me to start walking a mile this way. Okay. That's it. What's your girlfriend's name? Emily. Emily? Emily what? I don't know her last name. Okay. All right, is there, if I grab your wallet, do you have an ID in there? I don't. You don't have an ID at all? No, I only have my social security card and my EBT card from Texas. Okay. Any IDs at all on you? No. Is Kenny short for Kenneth? Oh, uh, that's a good observation, yeah. Okay. You have a middle name? I do, but you don't need to know it. Well, I need to identify who you are. I was born in September in Lincoln, Nebraska. All right. You ever been arrested in Florida? No, sir. I've only been in here for 24 hours. Oh, so you just got here? Yeah. You want to know that I'm a felon up in Nebraska, too? Would that help you out? What are you a felon for? Are you on probation? Burglary. Burglary? No. You don't say. You give it, he gets you a, a middle name. What's that? Did he give you a middle name? He, he didn't give it to me. No. What's your middle name? Joel. 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 He gave it to me. He likes me better. So you carried the, the quarters all the way from Orlando? Yeah, in that black bag right there. 
I think that's four hundred dollars in the black bag. You know somebody named Roger? No. I don't know Roger. Why is there Roger engraved in the slider? I don't know. No? Okay. A kind gentleman at Dollar General gave it to me. You got the quarters recently, or? I got them almost a year ago. I've been carrying them around with me. I haven't what? really counted them. So I'm in trouble? No, we're just trying to figure all that out. I didn't actually check the... It's right there. My my prison ID is right there. The first one. The first one? That's not the name you gave me. Why would you give him a false name? I didn't give him a false name. Oh, so I didn't give him my adoptive name? You're going to charge me with false name? Ooh. You didn't ask okay, me if I was right. adopted. Can we just run it so we can... Can we put him in there? Yeah. Come on back here. You didn't ask me if I was adopted. I gave you my birth name. So right now he's going to be under arrest for uh, at least false information to law enforcement. A lighter with our victim's name on it. He's in the suspect's backpack. See it engraved. Right now, Deputy Rafferty is conducting a witness show up. It's something that we can use in place of uh, a photo lineup and see if they can identify him. Good. He's not going to see you charge him with this thing. Yeah. He has his stuff with him. Yeah. Good. All right. I'm going to sit you back in the car. Good. Thank God. I'll make sure. We've uh, verified that some of the items that he had in his possession do belong to the homeowner. Go back there and get the jars back there, fingerprint. Okay. Just processing the scene right now? Yes, sir. So you had a big jar that had, had yeah, changed the in it? Yeah, the victim said this jar was filled to the rim. You couldn't fit another coin into it. And it's missing about half of its coins, which we believe was in the suspect's bag. We've already uh, powdered it for fingerprints, and we're getting ready to lift the fingerprints as of this point. Very good. So right now, we definitely have the suspect on giving false information and resisting without violence. We'd probably be facing charges of residential burglary as well as theft. I've been with the sheriff's office for about two years now. Grew up in Marion County, so it's awesome to be able to get to work for the community. I'm the only female on night shift at this end of the county. One of my sergeants likes to call me the zone warden because I tend to be a little bit bossy at times and having to keep the guys in check but they're like brothers. So we just got a hit on one of our cameras for a stolen tag, and it's on a red pickup truck. There's a unit behind me. I'm gonna attempt a 1050. You can hold the station for a felony stop. 10-4, station With both hands out of the vehicle, I want you to open the door from the outside. Driver, step out and face away. I want you to take one hand, lift up the back of your shirt, and turn around slowly, all the way. Walk back to the sound of my voice. Keep walking back. Walk back. Get on your knees and put your hands behind your back. Is there anyone else in the vehicle? No, man. I'm going to put him in your vehicle. All right, go ahead and stand up for me. That's what this about. I'll talk to you in a minute. Okay. You don't have anything on you, right? If anyone else in the vehicle, make yourself so now. Go ahead and have a seat. All right, honey, I'm coming up behind you. All right. He says there's no one else. Clear. 62, 63 vehicles, clear, you can clear station. You wanna go ahead and run this tag first? Yeah. Let me go talk to him real quick. All right, man, what's your name? Carl. Carl? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Carl, I'm Deputy Welchel with the Marion County Sheriff's Office. The reason I'm pulling you over today is because there's a stolen tag attached to that truck. Mm. All right, Carl, whose vehicle is that? Clayton. Okay, how do you know him? Is he a friend of He's yours? He's a friend of mine. He let me use it, and that's, he's, I don't know anything about a tag being messed up. His ignition's screwed, okay. but the paperwork for the truck is in the glove box. Okay, how long have you had it? Uh, two days. 
Two days? Yeah. Okay. Is there anything illegal in the vehicle that you know of? There's a BB gun underneath the seat. That's a CO2 okay. powered. I know that. And okay. drugs wise, none of mine. Okay. Because <laughs> I don't have any. Now, do you uh, know if there's drugs in the car? I honestly, there might be. Okay. Because the other person that was in the vehicle, they do do them. What kind of drugs do they do? Uh, meth. Meth? Okay, so there might be meth in the vehicle? There might be. Do you know where it would be? I don't know. All right. Gonna go ahead and do an inventory search on this truck because we're gonna tow it. Um, the driver did say that there were, may possibly be some drugs in the car. Looks like there's something right here. Some more needles in here in plain view once I opened it. So, both look empty, but you never know. I'm gonna go ahead and test these needles, see if there's any meth residue in them. Okay. What's so this up? This tucked in the center console. The center console? Yeah. Um, if you want to test that. So that may be the meth he was talking about that I might find. So, don't even have to test the needles now. I can go ahead and test this. If this tests positive for meth, I can chalk the needles up as paraphernalia. All right. So that orange color there looks like it's testing positive for amphetamine so let's see if he'll own up to it all right carl so this is where we're at so obviously you said i may find meth in the car which i did mm -hmm. in the center console next to the driver's side mm -hmm. um in the book bag that had your belongings in it i found a needle mm -hmm. i also found some more needles in the center console mm -hmm. so do you want to own up to it? Tell me that the meth is yours and be honest about it. <laughs> the meth? No. I mean, if I find needles with your stuff. I'm also a diabetic. Okay. But um, I don't like needles. You don't like needles? No. So then how do you use meth? Do you smoke it? Do you snort it? I eat it. You eat it? I do use it. Okay. But the mess that was in the center wasn't mine. That was the person that just literally got out of the vehicle before I okay. pulled out. All right. But it's stuck with me no matter what I reckon. Yeah, well, I mean, you you said you know that there may possibly be drugs in there, and I found drugs, and it's on the driver's side, so. And, you know, you use meth, so that's what I got to work with. Mm -hmm. um, all right, well... Um, you're gonna be going to jail today for possession of meth, uh, possession of paraphernalia, and for petty theft for the stolen tag. Um, I know you're saying you don't know anything about nothing, but at the I same don't know time, about the tag, no. at the same time, you know, you have been driving this vehicle for a couple days. Yeah, you're okay. in possession of it. You gotta know what you're getting I into. Should know, yes. Yeah, what you're getting into. Um, my partner here is gonna transport you to the jail. All right, you found the wallet in there too? Yes, I found your wallet. All right, thank you. All right? So he says he's only had this truck for about two days, yet the keys have a his personalized keychain on it. So I'm starting to believe he's had it longer than that. I was born and raised in Escambia County. I've lived here my whole life. All my family's here. And for as long as I can remember, I've always wanted to be a cop. And luckily for me, there's nothing else I can think of that I would rather do. This car in front of us, the tag's expired from 2018. So we're going to stop them and see what's going on. Car 321-1031 on a white Ford Taurus. If I have K-9 around. Hi, ma'am. I'm Deputy Pope with Kimmy County Sheriff's Office. I stopped you because your tag expired from 2018. You got your ID on you, ma'am? Yeah, this is my ID. Right you want to take it out of your thing for you? You got an ID on your bud? Yes, yes ma'am. I appreciate it if you got it. I just it. picked him up. Like, I don't even have a license. This is my ID. I just got the okay. car. Don't let that wall fall out of the window, okay? Just hang out right here for me. If you'll stand up there with them, they're like, ooh. The driver doesn't have a good driver's license. And, um, so we're sorting all that out right now. We also have K-9, so we're gonna do that. 
just see what all we got going on here. No, no, no. Back here. Back here. Just have a seat right there. I just picked them up. I, I haven't. I, I just don't want to give you this trouble. Please. I don't want to give you this trouble. I'm just trying to move this car and get my stuff out of it. You know what I'm saying? It's been stuck it's in between. Prince, and so I'm just, I, I'm just trying to. Trying to do right. That's all. What's going on with your toe? Uh-oh. Got a tour with somebody last He was night. hobbling when I picked him up. That's why I picked him up. I had spanked. I can't even put the shoe on. Woo! Got a good boy right there. Yes, yes. Woo! Good doggy right there. Right. Yes. So here's the deal. Yes. Dog, dog water and start products. I had a good boy right there. Give me that salami. Woo! Yes. Just saying. Does that have anything to do with me, though? Like, if you have drugs on you, if you have drugs on you, you tell them. You did have something on you. Did you keep your hands out of your pockets, boss? I was dealing with Al, period. I know I don't. You mind if I search real fast? If you want to turn around and put your hands on the, if you'll put your hands on the, the bar right here, it won't be hot, OK? All right. You don't have anything on you that's going to stick me, poke me, hurt me? No. Anything that's going to get you in trouble? No. I'm pretty sure it's on my cell phone or some money somewhere, no. Okay, your cell phone and some money somewhere? Hang on just a second. Bang! I'm just trying to do, like, trying to do the right thing. You done with him? Yeah, you want to turn him if you can put him in yours. Okay. Here. Pup, don't lie to me. All right, spread your feet. You'll be going to jail for felony narcotics. Do you have somebody to come get you? I have some friends with Jones to come drive me. Okay. All right, so how do you guys know each other? I don't really know him. Like, mm -hmm. I knew him before he went to prison. Like, we went to school together type stuff, but mm -hmm. I don't really know him. Like, he, we just met, like, Right up here by the dollar store, he was hobbling. Oh, so he was walking down the yeah, road and you just picked him up? I just picked okay. him up. He looked like he needed uh, a ride. Then I was coming right in this direction, so yeah. I was like, yeah, sure, you ride with me. You yeah. Know? When it, so when I got behind you, did you, like, yeah. about the cops. I just am driving without a license. I know I'm going to get a ticket because the officer explained it to me already. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he just started jumping around. I'm like, oh, great, wonderful. This is exactly yeah. what I need today. <laughs> was he telling you to, like, Drive away or anything like that? No, no, not okay. like no, like yeah. I, all I he was just was real I nervous. I putting acting. something in this vehicle. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, dude, I'm just trying to give you help. And yeah, I barely can help you. Like, I can barely can help myself. No, I understand that. So he was just acting real jumpy. Yeah, and like just acting not out of the like he was acting way out of the ordinary. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, okay. All right, I understand that. More than what I needed today. <laughs> so what we got today? Citation for no license, right? Mm -hmm. So your court date and all of your information's on there. Okay. All right. Where did you find it on him? Because I was paying attention to her when you found it. Uh, I think it, I think he had it stuffed up in his crotch, and it just like fell down his right leg, right. Okay, and it was so bunched right up in his leg. pants. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sweet. On the inside of his leg. All right. That's what I wanted to make sure. Yeah. So, okay. Awesome. All right. I'm gonna go talk to him, and then we'll be right. out of here. All right. So, um, do you normally carry spice on you? I just found a little set on the ground walking through the okay. park. Okay. So you don't normally carry it on you, huh? Okay. Smoke regular weed. You smoke regular weed? Okay. But you knew it was spice, though? I didn't really know until I really started smelling when he heard the dog. Okay. The rest of that stuff down really. But that spice, it got a long, strong odor to it. So they're going to alert that ASAP. Okay. All right. So you've never been tied up with it before. It's just first never time. Been you... Okay. Hey, did you know that girl that gave you a ride? Was she trying to buy that spice from you? No, she don't do no drugs. Okay, okay. She don't do nothing. Because she said that she knew you a little bit from like a long time yeah, ago, long but time. not lately. Okay. We ain't seen each other in so long, about four years. Yeah, okay. All right, man, well, it is a felony yeah. charge, okay? I'll do what I can to work with you on a good bond because you've been straight up with me, okay? All right. When I became a deputy, times narcotic users are the ones out here committing the other crimes. I'd like to continue to get narcotics off the street so we can keep Santa Rosa County as safe as possible. We have some detectives that just did a traffic stop. We're going to get out with them and see if they need any assistance. Alex, what's up? Do you have an audio on you? 
Okay, what's your name? Have you ever been in any kind of trouble? Yes, sir, I have. For what? Uh, was, uh, driving while driver's license suspended. That's the only thing you've ever been in trouble for? No, there's some other stuff on there, but I didn't pull it up on anything. Okay, is there any drugs or anything like that? Methamphetamine? Trafficking? No, just... Simple just possession? Okay. Is there any narcotics in this vehicle? Okay. Is there any marijuana or anything like that? No heroin? Okay. You just keep looking straight down, ma'am. Is everything okay? I have bad anxiety. Okay. You have any weapons in the vehicle? Any knives or guns or anything? Don't reach for it if you got it. Um, and you said there is no drugs at all in here. Because I can work with you if you're honest with me. Not that I know. Not that you know of. But you've been in control of the vehicle for how long? Yes. Two hours? Yes, I'm just, just coming over here to get his stuff and leave. Okay. Thank you. Hey, I'll see you. What's up, man? I seen you before. You, you, when you guys put up my kid, yeah, loud, um, missing it. Yeah, that's right. The driver's coming back. He's on felony probation out of a scam year for possession of a controlled substance. Okay. The driver said he's got a knife on him. Let's so get that out. All right. Hey, man, can I talk to you real quick? Now, you said you got a knife on him. Don't, don't lose him. You mind if I check your pockets? Is that okay? Yeah. You mind if you, you got mind anything? Got a syringe in there? Okay. Give me a fact we'll put you. Is it a used syringe? Yeah. Okay. It does have a You're on probation, man. What are you thinking? It's not really on. It's a big mess in the pocket. Okay. It. How much is a little bit to you? Less than a quarter gram. Okay, cool. Here you go. It's great. Sir, can you find a ring for James on you? I was just being detained, okay? She told me that there's some cellophane in the vehicle that she stuffed in her purse. Okay. A uh, female passenger said she uh, stashed something in her purse. I'm gonna check and see what it was. Did she say what she threw in here? No, she said it was, he's got two used syringes and a little bit of that. Looks like it's gonna be a bit of Methamphetamine. We'll test that in a minute. Just put your hands behind your back. You're not under arrest. You're just being detained. Yes, sir. All right. So I want to talk to you about what, what I found. Yes, sir. I'm being honest, it wasn't mine. I was sitting there beginning to freak out of a panic attack. When the, when the lights sir. came on? Huh? When the lights came on? Yes, sir. OK, what else? I've had bad health problems. I have a two-year-old daughter. Bruh. Sir, I had no clue what was in there. Okay. Until somebody, the boy on the right said something about there might be something in here. You said there may be something in there? Yeah. Are you using methamphetamine? No, sir. You don't use any kind of narcotics? If I do anything, sir, it's weed. I have a butt All right, we'll have you sit in this car so I can go talk to them, OK? All right, let's walk back this way. <laughs> It's not mine. What I had on me was mine. Okay. And the meth's not the other dudes? Okay. So it's my girlfriend, but she's got a lot of problems. Okay. So but you had meth in your pocket. Yes. Sir. And you're not gonna you know you're gonna let her take the fall for the other one grams. No, same, about the same amount you had in your pocket. All right, man. You can come hang out back up here. All right, they said that ain't theirs. It ain't mine, sir. Right. I'm telling you the truth. Right. So you're telling me, though, the purse that you claim was yours, that was between your legs. Sir, I don't know how he got in there. Right. Well, I mean, it obviously didn't just magically appear there. There is you know. not mine, I promise you. Well, your boyfriend's using, too. So he's got needles in his pocket and meth in his pocket. I didn't know yet. Right. <laughs> Obviously, you, he know he uses narcotics. You're around him. But when you got stopped, that you put a cellophane wrapper in your purse, so you I knew. I said that, my pocket. Yeah, from you the cigarettes. You knew there was something in there. No, sir. I was talking no, about the cellophane no. I put in my pocket. I'm telling no. you the truth. Because how would I have known to look for a cellophane in the side pocket of your purse and then wham, methamphetamine? Sir. Bazinga. <laughs> how does that work? <laughs> Nobody's being honest, so tonight you're gonna have to just take the ride for it. I don't want to take the ride. 
Well, you have to. I'm sorry. I don't. I can't help you. I gotta kid my daughter. All right. Well, a bunch of people have children, but they shouldn't have children with methamphetamine. Just hold tight. You're gonna have to go tonight. So I've been a police officer for the last 12 years. Well, I am a uh, traffic enforcement officer, so I ride a motorcycle every day. Perhaps as well, right? They're gonna pay me to ride a bike all day long, a nice BMW. It's a pretty good gig. Just saw this truck. It's got no front plate, no back plate. There's a driver in there. Talk to her and just come take it from there. Hi. What are you doing? Hi. Oh. Hey, what's up with your plates, man? Where are they at? They fell off. <gasps> I just got jumped by Highway Patrol earlier. I you just got that. jumped by Highway Patrol? Yeah, hey, where's your license and your registration at? Um, I don't have it. Who are you it's waiting like, for? I just got a ticket for that. Who are you waiting for? Nobody. I'm waiting for gas. Where's your ID at? I don't, I don't you know. You have some ID. No, somebody stole my whole wallet. Pop, pop. Yeah. Where's the ticket that the CHP guy right? gave you? Jamie? Yeah. You on parole or probation, Jamie? Uh, yes, sir. What are you on probation for? Um, uh, stolen track or something? I swear. How do you not know what you're on probation for? That just sounds, like, it, it just a... sounds silly. Come on out. Take a seat right here. Oh, dear. Give me your purse. Here you go. I'm not going to take it anywhere. Oh, fine. Thank you. Hey, can you do me a huge favor? What, without my cigarette? Could you? Because, like, I kind of don't want to blow up. Ah, it's littering, but okay. You got anything illegal in the car? No, sir. No? You mind if I go through it? My stuff is your stuff. My stuff is your stuff. Yeah, something okay. you can search whatever you take want. Take a seat, relax, okay? Right, 10, one. Hey, so the last time you went to jail was for a warrant. Yeah. What was the warrant? Stolen. When's the last time you stole a car? I've never stole a car. When's the last time you stole a tractor? I never stole a tractor. You said earlier you no, got no, arrested I, for stealing I, a tractor. I got busted for that. Doesn't mean I stole it. Uh, I, yeah, I didn't steal it. When's the last time you were riding around in a stolen tractor? I didn't ride around in it. I was in possession of a stolen tractor. Okay, when's the last time you had possession of a stolen tractor? Uh, last year. You're like really particular with stuff. Well, just because you uh, you have to be. I like the way you think. What do you think about cowboy hats? I, cowboy hats? Yeah, do you like them? Like cowboy butts drive me nuts. Really? <laughs> cowboy, like, oh no. Like that guy? That guy? Yeah, is that Bonanza? Said, she just said What's cowboy up? butts drive her nuts. <laughs> so this is Jamie. Jamie's on probation. Hi. Can you hang by Jamie? Yes, thank you, thank you. Rubio, where have you been all my life? Who the heck? How come I never get pulled over by you? Jamie, do you do drugs? No, sir. Uh, When's the last time you did drugs? I don't do drugs. But when you did? Like a teenager. So when was that? Like last year. What was? It? What did you do last year? Uh, smoke a little bit of Oh, that can't be safe. Hey, Jamie, you know your seat's not bolted down? Yes, sir. At least you know. I like to live dangerous. Do you, you like to live dangerously? Me? Is this your bag, Jamie? Yes, sir. You got anything illegal in there? No, just makeup. So and the, hair. The, Oh, that's hair. Careful with that. It's human yeah. hair. That's, that's gross. Oh, here, that's probably what you should have did. No. 27. Jamie. What is that? I have to swear I have no idea, dude. If you had, okay, how about this? If you had to guess. Dude, I swear. Let me I finish. Had, if I had, if, if I had, you had, had to me, guess, I would have told you. If you had to guess, what would you think it would be? Take a guess. Don't look at your phone. Just take a guess. Pixie stick? A pixie stick? Yeah, there's pixie sticks. Hey, if you think it was a pixie stick, would you put it? No, 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 let go. I just don't want you on your phone calling your friends. I'm not calling would you, my friends. Would you put it all on your tongue at one time? Yeah. Really? For sure. That would be really bad for you. So what if I test it? What is it going to? No. That's like, a lot honestly, of, that's a lot of dope. That is not a lot of dope. For you, it is. Are you, are you don't you think so? you be kidding me right no? now, dude. Oh, my God, dude. I swear I didn't know. Am I going to jail? No. Oh, okay. You want to go to jail? No, sir. Why not? What do you mean, why not? Have you, ever been, have you ever been there? Of course. Ow. I'm arresting you right now for what's in your little baggie. Really? Yeah, it looks like meth. What do you think it is? It's probably meth. Like, are you kidding me right now? Hey, so I think it's meth. You think it's meth. Is that dope somebody else's? I like it. No, you said it was your purse. It's my purse. OK, so, so the guess, dope's yeah, yours? Yeah, I guess so. OK, you want to take a seat again? I'll help you down. Ready? Uh, be methamphetamine. You can see the little crystals. This would easily be personal use. You might share this with somebody, but at least probably maybe a day or two. Is that what you do? Is it meth? Yeah. Smoke weed? Not me. No? I got to be on my toes. Smoke weed makes me lazy. Meth, though? Meth. You your toes. Your toes. Your toes. Um, you say you didn't have that in your in your purse for a while, you think? That's what I'm saying. I, have, I don't even know. I don't even remember, like, honestly. 
like, if I, if I knew it was there, I would have, you know what I mean, I would have hit it or something. You know what I mean? So, when's the, last it time, out. when's the last time you, um, you used? Um, probably last weekend. Huh? Arrest you, site release you from here. So oh, what's my ticket going to be for? It's going to be for a possession of the methamphetamine. Methamphetamine. Yeah, the laws have changed. They've made it a misdemeanor now. Thank God. Lucky you, right? Thank God. Hey, I'm going to go. Uh, he's not a rookie. That's a, se that's a senior right there. You're like, that stash can't be a rookie. Huh? Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's, that's a good looking mustache right there. Wow. Man, that's a good looking stash. <laughs> Woo. Handle Could bar. make him uh, take you to jail, but we're not going to. You guys are going to heaven for that. I highly doubt that. When the rapture comes, you guys are going to heaven. Uh, I don't think up. so. Sign the bottom, it's not admitting any guilt. Mm -hmm. She says she'll take care of it by the 7th of December. All right. <laughs> You're so adorable. I've been with the city of Colton for over uh, six years now. Colton is approximately 60 miles east of Los Angeles. It's a tight knit community, and the citizens out here, they really do care about their, uh, their city, and it's a very family oriented. This area is known for uh, a lot of stolen vehicles. So we do extra patrol in this area. It's going to be in front of Four Brothers, 729. This guy's just cruising around, see what's going on. We've had a lot of Honda stolen lately. And then he's now he need to make a complete stop at the light over here, uh, the stop sign. So we'll see what's up. We're at the stop sign. I did make a complete stop. Do you have your license registration insurance on you, bro? I just, just bought, bought the, the car. car. How long ago is that? I have it on my phone, if you don't mind me. Yeah, go ahead, ma'am. Go ahead. Where y'all headed to? We're going to our right room. here. Where's that? Hotel right here. You guys got a room there? Yeah. Do you have a license or just ID card? I I have a suspended license. How come you're driving? How come she's not driving? Because she doesn't have a license either. So Who's this to you? This is my girlfriend. Oh, okay. Do you have insurance for the ride? I just, just bought it. How much you get it for? Trailer 500 bucks. Expired on 92. Are you on parole probation? I'm on felony probation. What for, bro? Uh, draft that auto. I'm sorry? G Vehicle. Bar. I know, bro, but my tools you should back. see some of the stuff we catch people I, stealing. I understand that, sir. Step out real quick, Murray, because you don't have an ID on you. I mean, a uh, driver's license. Do you have anything illegal on you? No, sir. I'm just search you out, all right? Put your hands behind your back. Behind your back. There you go. How long have you guys been in the ride? Uh, Put these on for a second. We just went. You're on arrest just because you're on probation, bro. Huh? Just because you're on probation. Oh, I understand. I'm used to this. Go ahead, it just happens right there for me. It happens all the time? Every time. Maybe you shouldn't roll around with expired registration. Is anything illegal on your ride? No. Probably 31, call 31. Hey, right, check out your ride. Uh, right your head. <laughs> it's a mess. There, I'm How come you're rolling around? cut my brake line. <laughs> OK. So if I'm going to have an officer go check out where the last address is on this vehicle. It's not going to come back. The guy's not going to say, oh, I've reported it stolen to us? No, no he's sir. not. So all this stuff is yours in here? Yes, yes. I, I'm a mechanic, sir. Uh, I may be a messy mechanic, but hey, I get the job done. And I build some nice, beautiful cars when I'm done. The problem is the cars you're building are stolen. What? You got priors for stolen vehicles oh. like quite a few well, times. Yeah, that was because I was young and dumb. I got pictures of the, the VIN number Tracy, right there. put yourself in my position. I understand that. No, you, I understand you're right. And you got your position. Like, why wouldn't you just have the paperwork with you then? And you're rolling around with it expired, and he has a suspended license. You don't have a license. No, I don't. I know. I should, well, it's not suspended. That's a good thing. It's <laughs> just <don't>... expired. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> it's just expired. Seriously. Well, I haven't gone down and got it. I've been busy doing other things, like buying cars. We wouldn't have this problem. OK, so I'm still waiting for a check on it. Make sure it's, I'm still going, contemplating on towing the vehicle or not. But you've been out for two months, and she's been with you for two months. Because of her, though, it sounds like you're making better decisions. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. I mean, be it that you guys are 26 years apart? <sighs> No, 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 I'm asking. No, you're 26. <coughs> you're 26, right? It's exactly 26, 26 years different. How, yes. There you go. 
Yes, I have. But it's children. a good thing, though. I have children all older than him. <laughs> Go ahead, make the wise crack. Go ahead. No, but I'm, I'm looking around and I see a black cat oh, behind yeah. you oh, guys. We, so we are, we've already established so, yeah. this, okay? <laughs> so you guys are on the right path. <laughs> Take that cat home. I believe me, officer. We were gonna, I will take that we cat home. We were just home. discussing that. <laughs> Did you get any contact back from uh, Upland PD? We have not called back yet. All right, copy, thanks. All right, stand up for me. Nice you, ma'am. Okay. Stand over here. I'm gonna take these cuffs off. I'll just have you sign the ticket. It's not saying you're guilty. You know how this works. It's just yeah. giving you a court date. All right. Yeah, and uh, Tuesday I'd have to call my probation officer. Yeah, just tell him the cops stopped you and Got everything's taken. Got another ticket. Got another ticket. <laughs> so what's going to happen now? Uh, oh, is just keep making the right decisions and make sure you get yes, sir. that uh, paperwork and documentation care taken care of and get your IDs, driver's license. Since you can't get the window closed, I mean, you guys have been cooperative the whole time. You know, you look like you're trying to get on your way and do the right things. So. You guys can go ahead and move it. Just park it over there by the hotel. Don't move it and drive it again. Oh, no, it's not going to move. Tell but you guys got to take the cat with you because that's your lucky, <laughs> lucky. Man. This is the opposite of what black cats are supposed to be for people. All right, guys. You guys have a nice evening. You guys try to be good. No, you're right. going with me. He's like, I don't want to go now. That one got you out of jail. This, this, this. So I was raised by my grandparents. Went to live with my grandparents at the age of four. Just to baseball, soccer, PTA. The life they gave us was truly a better life than I could have expected with growing up the way I did. All right, we're gonna make contact with this guy right here in front of this hotel. He's got a felony warrant. He's taking off. Looks like he's running right now. I'm on 415. I just had an HMA round for me. Gray t shirt, black shorts. Should be 1032 Frank. Hey, stop. Get on your stomach. What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't want to go. I know where you're going now. What up? Can I call no, you? no. Hey, no. call Christina! Call Christina! Call Christina, please! Is he gonna talk to me? Hey, call Christina! Fire, no, 14. That's on Show me I would. Show me I would one HMA. Have a seat, Twinkie. If you keep pulling away from me, I'm gonna drop you on your stomach. Stop. I'm searching you. Stop. You doing what? Hey, my bad. She's like, my legs f***ed up. I got to do this. COVID. Have a seat. Have That's a seat. Oh, look at my legs, man. What? I don't know why I ran. Let's see the <sighs> Hey! Tell Jackie I love her. Hey, get my phone here. Yeah? So in his front right sock, he had a glass pipe and then hey. a, a little bag of dope. Hey, hey tell car. Jackie I love her. Get in the car. Before I have one detained. Hey, so I got a little uh, marijuana pipe. This is his property drop. Um, also said in Spanish that he dropped some dope over here. So we have another unit over here and we're gonna check the area. Wow. So I was uh, driving down Sunnymead. I uh, recognized this guy as having a uh, felony warrant. It's a parole wa warrant. I went to contact him. He saw me and kind of did the, uh, you know, look away, and then he started running. He ran into this complex right here, ran through the back. I uh, went through the front and then contacted him as he was running up the stairs. Hard to get away from you, man. Yeah. <laughs> so after I handcuffed him over here, uh, I noticed that he had a, a bulb sticking out of his sock. And in the, the sock, I removed a glass pipe. And then he also had a little bag of methamphetamine. Nice. You feeling OK? Yeah, I'm a dumbass. I don't know why I ran. Oh. You good? You need an ambulance or anything? No, I'm good. I'm good. You good? 
got me. Dude, I, I can't believe you jumped in that, though. I know, and I see you, and I was like, Smith. He's like, I need to sign, I need, because my phone broke, and I barely got a phone, and I couldn't call my... But still, man, you, it's a, it's a, it's a you warrant. Already, you already know Smith. Yeah, I have a warrant for this. You do have a warrant. That's why you ran. Or that you had some dope, too, and you dropped. Yeah, because it's... Just because of the dope? Yeah. Where'd you drop it at, man? No. What? That you dropped dope. No, I said, can you get my ADD? Puedes hablar mi ADD porque ahí está mi cartera. Come on, man. I swear to God, that's what I said. I didn't say nothing else. That's it. My wallet's right there. Where's it on my wallet? All right. Did you realize that was me in the car? Yeah. Yeah? yeah you got a familiar face, Smith. Come on, Smith. Oh, I do. <laughs> I was very... like... And I see you turn around, and the girl's talking to me. I was like, I believe you seen this girl right now. I was like, man, look. Like, I'm gonna go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Yeah, let's like, start really. Cause it's not like you to run. I know. It's like it's just you don't, don't want to go back. You don't back. typically run for me. I don't. I don't. I don't want to go back in. I hate this. I hate the bosses. I hate all this. Well, you've been doing good, man. No, you you've been off the streets. Yeah, I haven't seen you out. You've gained a little bit of weight. A lot of weight. Like, a lot of weight. I'm like two fourteen. Two fourteen. <laughs> Well, years, already years, but like I stopped for a couple of months and went, you know, she had me stuck, like at the house, I was happy. And like, yeah. And you just doing good? You thought about getting a program or something? Yeah, I talked to Rivers about it. And, uh, What'd she say? No, Rivers, she said that he said he, said he was going to try to see, but I, I have a lot of stuff in my head, so you know, a lot of stuff I got to finish before I do this, you know? Yeah, I get that. I get, you got, you got a lot going on, man, but obviously running's not going to help you. You know, I appreciate that you gave up and you didn't actually fight or anything like yeah. that, okay? Does that... You were, you were a good cop, you know, like, I don't, I mean, you know... Well, I appreciate that, man. You know, like, that, that could have gone bad for... You just want the better for us, you know, like... But, I do, you know, absolutely. Just, you, you know, know that. You know, you know, I, know, I know, I know, I feel, I feel like, you know... And I, yeah, I'm just hard-headed sometimes, you know? Well, unfortunately, you're going for your warrant today. Yes, sir. And then uh, I'll talk to your PO about possibly getting you a program or something, man. All right? Yeah. If you're serious about a program, hit me up. Oh. Okay? I've offered this to 200 people, 200 plus people. I'm just scared of like, not one person I'm scared taking of it out. Everything, you know, like, I've, I've been rehabbing all that, but it's... you know what? Ultimately, you have to be the one to decide if you're ready or not. Because if you're not ready, you're not going to accept it. You got to be done with this lifestyle, man. We work here in Oakland, California for AC Transit Police Services. A lot of things happen on these public transportation platforms, all sorts of violent crimes. So when we're out and our patrol cars are visible, I think it gives the public a certain sense of safety. We're gonna stop this red infinity. I guess it's red. Traffic violation, no front plate. Still rolling. Yeah? Yeah, let's call it. Uh, two turns and four, we're still rolling. Uh, it's gonna be a failure to yield. We are westbound international at 12. Two turns we've got one occupant. And nondescript. Nondescript at this time. Continuing westbound, 7th Ave, speed's 24. And just went through a red light. For some reason, the driver's not stopping. And he's making contacts with people. He or she, don't know, but. I'm not sure why they're not pulling over. Look to me, a black male adult. Now on eastbound 24, light traffic. Uh, we're going to keep pursuing until he does something, or we cancel. Never been in a pursuit like this at these speeds where me you got either. someone who and sirens are commands to stop. Five, uh, still continuing south on Shattuck. Speeds 25. And tell them to give uh, PA announcements. Tell Rich to give PA announcements. Car to car, give PA announcements. Two turns of five. We don't get in that fire shop. Zooting. Slowing down here in front of the Michelin tires. We got these guys waiting for this and vehicle to stop. Going to a parking stall. Hey, get out and come around the car. Turn the engine off! Dagnu. Turn the car off. You got commands. Take the keys, drop them outside the window. Give him commands. Face away from me, open the door and get out. Step out. Step out with your hands up. The phone. Turn away from us. Turn away from us. You got it everywhere. The street. Face the street. Walk backwards. Walk backwards. Walk backwards. Walk backwards. Talk to me like a man. Sir, can you please walk backwards? Walk backwards. Okay. Comfortable? 
Face the street. Okay. Please face the street, sir. I'm facing the street right behind you, face sir. Face that street that I'm pointing to. Speak Why are you stopping me? Turn away from us. Turn away from me. I have nothing on me but a turn and face the other way. Around. That's a coward move. Turn Don't be around. a coward. Be a man. Talk to me. Talk to me like a man. Why did you stop me? Why are you turn harassing around. me? Why does, it four, why does it take four trucks to stop one man? Because we want to be a coward. Pursue. Talk to me. Put your gun down. Hey, who has less lethal? Talk your gun. Thank you. Thank you. I got less lethal. Thank you. Thank get on the ground. Thank get on the ground. Thank get on the ground. Yes, sir. Get on the ground. Yes, sir. Get on the ground. I'm on the ground. Get on the ground. I'm 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 relaxed. Step off. Step off. Got, my glasses are being on my eyes. Watch Just step, relax. Step relax. My glasses are on my eyes. Got Park clear. Do you have any weapons on you? Got a knife? Sir, we tried to stop you for minor traffic violations, and you uh, led us on a... I don't know how long of a pursuit. I don't know why you led us on such a long ride for it instead of just pulling over the vehicle. All right, let's take him back to the car. Yeah, but you, Larry? You yeah. can go in the back of my patrol car. For what? All you had to do was stop, man. I probably would have let you go with a warning. I, I just stopped. But instead, you decided to run from the police. I did not run. Yeah, you did. I you ran. Stop what, what do the red lights and sirens mean? You, took, me, a dri you for, took a driving for me, test. For I know, because your license is good. It means the Ku Klux Klan is coming. That's who you're working okay. for, and that's who you're Well, today you're going to go to jail, and we're going to tell your car. Fair. You shouldn't tell my car. My car is safe. It's right there. You have no front license plate on your vehicle. That's my reason for contacting you, How can you sir? see the front license plate from the you back You turn side? right in front of me, sir. Hop in. How about let me go and be do the right thing? That's not going to happen I've done nothing today. to you. No one's been hurt. No, no, everybody's safe. You want to do the wrong thing? No, no lessons being learned. I'm not here. doing anything wrong. Stops you for a traffic violation. You decided to run from the traffic cops. What type of traffic violation, sir? You have no front license plate on your vehicle. That's what drew my how attention. Can you see that from the back? You, for, you forced our hand. I did not run. Why, why did you not stop your car? How about that? I did not stop my car when you started running the lights because historically, not good. Yeah, but you not, made a comment about the do, KKK. Do you, do you, I mean, want, come on. I know. I do. Come I'm just, I'm just do, you, do, you, do you think I'm part of the KKK? I know that historically they would recruit African American members to, to to move their agenda. So you think I was part of the KKK? No, no, no. That was, was a moment of emotions. I did what I thought was the best thing to do, which is make me. You haven't been the ones enslaved for 400 years. You understand that? That's hey. never. That still has what? impact today. Hey, what, what? How would you identify yourself? What nationality would you say you are? Native American. Native Our American? land was 2.6 billion acres of the United States was taken by European okay. settlers from the East Coast to the West Coast. Okay. They took the religion, they took the belief you, system, they made people go from polygamy to LGBTQ, which is where we are right now. Okay. So based on your statements, it seemed like no matter what I did, I would have been the bad guy and you would have had your mind made up that I was coming to hurt you. However, I want you to know that we care about you, we care about our community, but unfortunately, you made some bad decisions tonight that's gonna land you in jail. Hey, I appreciate you taking time to talk to me. I know Absolutely. you didn't have to do that, but you, you did. Thank you, sir, I appreciate it.